homemade weed killer. Ingredients 1 gallon of white vinegar, 1 half cup salt, liquid dish soap, any brand, empty spray bottle. Put salt in the empty spray bottle and fill it the rest of the way up with white vinegar. Add a squirt of liquid dish soap. This solution works best if you use it on a hot day. Spray it on the weeds or grass in the morning, and as it heats up it will do its work. Works great on fence rows and edges of landscape. Growth booster for plants that love acidic conditions. Mix 1 gallon water and 1 cup white vinegar. Spraying the foliage atop soil will do. Your acidic loving plants will love the extra care. Preservative and life extender for your bouquet of cut flowers. Just add 1 teaspoon sugar and 2 tablespoons of vinegar to a quart of water. Put your flowers in this solution and it will add days of freshness to your beauties. Organic Pest Control Rodents and deer cannot stand the smell of vinegar. Spraying pure white vinegar around your flower beds and vegetable gardens is an excellent way of getting rid of those varmints. Another use for white vinegar is for pests like insects, namely ants and spiders. They also cannot stand the strong smell and would rather leave than stick around a while. As self-watering wine bottle planters, the terracotta stakes are filled with wine bottles that are full of water and stuck in the plant soil. As the terracotta absorbs the water, it slowly leaks into the soil, help keeping the plant's roots moist. A great way to keep your plants watered as you go on vacation and a neat gift idea for the plant lover. Grab a pair of scissors and a permanent marker. You will need a set of blinds. You should be able to find new window blinds for less than $5. First cut the string from the blinds so they will come apart. Remove all string. Now take your scissors and measure out the blinds to start cutting them to the size you want. Use a paint marker so that the label will not fade in the sun. Now you have a way to make hundreds of garden tags for less than $5. Using cinnamon powder on seedlings, this helps to prevent diseases. Cinnamon has some antifungal qualities, not to mention it smells great. You can use it to prevent them from molding or stop damping off diseases on your seedlings and plants. Here are just two benefits of cinnamon. Plants love cinnamon because it prevents mold. Also, ants and other insects do not like the scent of cinnamon. So how do we tell when a watermelon is ripe? There are many ways that are thought to be the best way. But there is a way to find the ripest watermelons every time. Yes, ripe melons have a hollow sound when you tap or slap the outside and it should feel relatively heavy when lifted. Both good ideas but confusing. Last time I lifted a watermelon it was heavy. They are all heavy. So what is the best method to detecting the very ripest watermelon every time? The most accurate way to tell is by the ground spot on the watermelon. You want to get the most yellow spot that you can. This will guarantee ripeness. More golden yellow the sweeter the watermelon will be. Put vinegar on your pesky weeds. It's an eco-friendly way to kill your weeds. Vinegar when sprayed on plants drain moisture from leaves and the plant dies. It is an organic and inexpensive way to kill your weeds. But beware, it kills every plant that it comes in contact with. For added strength to the solution, add dish soap and salt. When you add baking soda to your flowers, plants, trees and vegetables it will be very rewarding. This month's garden hack will bring outstanding color, vigor and many flowers to your garden this year. It's a little trick using some baking soda that you probably have in your kitchen somewhere. The baking soda offers benefits to alkaline-loving plants. It acts as a fertilizer depositing nutrients into the soil for your plants and affects it tremendous. Here is a simple way to increase your soil alkaline. A half teaspoon of baking soda will increase alkaline of one gallon of distilled water from pH level of 7 and bring the level up to 8.5 pH to 9 pH. There are thousands of plants that thrive in alkaline soil. You can simply search Google to find out if your plants will love this. Or you can watch our upcoming video on alkaline loving plants. So when feeding your plants use 1 gallon to half teaspoon of baking soda. This makes for an easy measuring tool to keep from overdoing it or underwhelming your plants. 
You can tweak the pH levels by simply adding more baking soda or taking some away. pH testers have come down in price and can be shipped to your door from places like eBay and Amazon. Using used coffee grounds to keep pests away. Coffee grounds will keep pests like ants, snails, and slugs off your flowers and vegetables. Simply sprinkle them around your flowers to prevent your pests from getting to them. Placing a cut lemon on your nightstand will not only smell heavenly, it has a powerful effect. In several ways, lemons can do so much more for your environment and good health. There is much to be said for mainly when you're talking lemon essential oil. Lemon oil scent energizes you while also aiding in concentration. Some say it helps against negative energy. You'll be more alert and productive when you add it to your diffuser or if you don't have one, just slice a lemon and let the scent float through the room. Lemons have several benefits other than the antioxidants and vitamin C it contains. Treat cuts with lemon juice by putting some on a cotton ball to put on the wound. It's a disinfectant that works but also stings. The antibacterial benefits of lemon juice is potent. Gargling lemon water can help cure respiratory infections, even persistent ones. You can alternate it with a salt and warm water gargle, for a double whammy. A mix of honey and lemon is also an effective cough syrup. Lemon juice can cure dandruff. Lemon juice is slightly antiseptic. Apply a couple of tablespoons to your scalp when you're in a shower and rinse. Ingesting lemons or lemon juice a few times a week will keep you looking younger. It also fights against high blood pressure. Many use lemon juice to clean their nails to brighten them, and also to take the smell of garlic away. Hydrogen peroxide completely removes fungus. Fungus cannot grow on plants when treating them with HP. You can use hydrogen peroxide to combat every kind of fungal infection that is affecting your plants. Fungus on your plants can make your plants weak and prevent them from thriving and growing healthy. If you see an orange powdery rust or a powdery mildew of white spots then use a hydrogen peroxide solution to treat them immediately. The hydrogen peroxide will start to attack the fungus and help aid the plant during healing. Fighting fungal infections like the powdery white mildew can be challenging. However, when treated with hydrogen peroxide the mildew is attacked. The peroxide will begin to eat away and wash the leaves. Eventually, the powdery mildew cannot grow on the healthy leaf anymore. The leaves are no longer a compatible host for the disease. This video will demonstrate how to make fake snow without any special ingredients. You can have fake snow in as little time as one minute. Here's how it is done. First, take a baby diaper and wet it letting it soak up the water. A bowl underneath to catch the water is a good idea. This may take several splashes of water as the little beads can hold 30 times their weight in water. The crystals are safe but you wouldn't want to eat them as they can expand. You will notice this at the end of the video, how fluffy it gets. The crystals are now absorbing all the water and is expanding nicely. This takes about a minute to work. Once it is done go ahead and cut through the cotton layer and take out the fluffy fake snow. Now you have a very simple way to make fake snow. Do you have any snow recipes? Please share. Post them down below.